time, but anyway, I'll, I'll persist. Um, uh, the scope of that national assessment um, is, my understanding is it's limited to surface water and shallow groundwater, but not deep aquifers. Um, I perhaps got the optimistic and hopeful impression last time that the work had begun with the shallow aquifers, but perhaps might progress to look at deep aquifers in future. Is that correct or yeah, just so wishful the, thinking the focus, on my behalf? The focus of this work is on the it was on the, is on the impacts at the surface, including shallow groundwater. Yes. But what we indicated last time is that issues we were looking at was how you might how you might assess the impacts on the deep groundwater. And is and there an intention to then assess those impacts after uh, working out how you might do so? That's that's still an issue that we're considering, and part of this current some of the work in the current assessment that's been undertaken would inform that work. So the decision on whether to look further will into the impacts on deep aquifers will be informed by what you find about the impacts on shallow aquifers and surface water? That's correct. Okay, yeah. thank you. Um, is there any intention to expand that chemicals assessment to cover shale and tight gas, given the hydraulic fracturing process is similar? irrespective of the gas that's being um, the focus, mined? The focus of the work at this stage is on coal seam gas. Uh, is there <coughs> an intention to expand that that you're aware of as yet? There's no intention to expand that. Okay. Um, so is there any work being done on shale and tight gas under any of those research projects or bodies that we canvassed earlier? The focus of the work is around coal seam gas. Okay because of the constraints of the water trigger? That's the mandate of the, it's, it's not so much to do with the water trigger, but that's the mandate of the Independent Expert Scientific Committee and the mandate of the funding, if you like. Hmm. OK. 